Hello, I am Raphael Affolter and together with Andreas Weiler, I am the author of the paper Facet X, Dynamic Facet Generation for Advanced Information Filtering of Search Results, um, which I will present to you today. In this presentation, I will talk about what motivated us to do it, um, what Facet X is, show how it works, then I will present to you the case studies we did with it and at the end uh, the, which conclusion we could draw from it and what future Merck could include. For most of us, searching is a recurring and important task in our daily life. Uh, we search for various different information on Google or DuckDuckGo. And if you want to have specific um, information, let's say about receipts, movies, traffic information, uh, flight plans, uh, we can go to specialized sites or systems um, like the movie database or monster.com or your traffic provider to get uh, what we need. Most of those sites and information system, they offer us pre-built categories as filters to narrow down our search. But since this is static, it does not allow support for dynamic content. And therefore, we introduce FacetX to help with that. So what is FacetX? FacetX is an application for the dynamic generation of filter facets for advanced information filtering of search results. Uh, it should close the gap between static facets and the underlying dynamic content of the domain. It uses hierarchical clustering in combination with topic extraction to generate new facets and can be applied to any domain where the search result is a collection of documents. That said, uh, it serves as an extension for an already given information system or website where you can um, search for a term and then get documents as a result. Okay, now I want to show you how this would look like if it's used in production. Uh, we can look at it um, as a pipeline. So. The user makes an initial search on a website and this website then queries documents on a database or what the underlying system is. And this database would then like return documents and there's the part where uh, FACETX could be included in the system. Um, those documents can, can then be loaded by FACETX uh, FacetX then um, makes a feature extraction on those documents. Then it would cluster them together hierarchically. And then it makes a topic extraction pair cluster in, in this hierarchical cluster. Those will then be returned to the website or for example, and the website would then show um, the search results um, with the additional uh, facet X facets and, uh, and a way to navigate through them. Okay, now let's have a look at an example result from one of our case studies to see what the result of facet X looks like. Uh, as I said before, uh, Facet X uses hierarchical clustering, so we get a dendrogram uh, as re a result, how you, what you can see on this uh, image here. Um, internally, we use this uh, dendrogram to walk down uh, the tree and extract the topics for each document clusters, as um, you can see here in the notes of uh, this tree. Um, the user now, for example, could use this tree to navigate down the search results, or he could be presented with more of one uh, of these nodes to like select one of them and then get, uh, get the documents, the underlying documents. Um, but how this is presented uh, or, or used in production, that, got, that can definitely go into future work. 
In order to see how this approach uh, would work in production and how really good uh, yeah, it works, uh, we tried three different use cases uh, in three different domains. The first one was a movie search on the International Movie Database. The second one was a receipt search on Epicurious. And then we also did a job search on monster.com. Um, however, uh, we made some, uh, some, some alterations. Uh, the initial search and the document extraction was done manually by us. But of course, if this would be used in a system or integrated in a system, there is no need for uh, manual action. So as I said before, um, the first case study was a movie search carried out on the International Movie Database, short IMDB. Um, there we sorted um, the 100, uh, the sci-fi movies by the user rating and extracted the 150 top ranked of them and uh, we made the clusters and uh, feature and topic extraction based on the synopsis of the movies and we decided to make uh, 25 clusters and six topics as facets per cluster and one of the results you can see uh, in the picture which i provided in this slide and generally it was okay, but sometimes there were um, facets which just don't have any meaning, like uh, the names of character here, uh, Sam, Roy, or Ellie. But others, they were pretty good, in my opinion, like construction astronauts so for uh, the movies Moon, The Martian, or uh, Space Odyssey. The next case study was a receipt search uh, on Epicurious. Um, I have to say Epicurious provides you with a lot of filter options to narrow down your results. But nevertheless, uh, we used um, chicken as a search word and only activated the provided facet healthy and that uh, provided us with 286 results. Um, for the clustering, we use the ingredient descriptions um, and we made 50 clusters and again with six topics as facets. Uh, also here we had like uh, good uh, informative facets like boneless or skinless uh, parsley as an ingredient. But then uh, again, some useless facts like tablespoon or cup, uh, which uh, yeah shows up in almost every uh, receive ingredients description. The last case study was a search for job offerings on the platform monster.com. Uh, we searched there for job offerings uh, for the word data scientists. And uh, we extracted 52 results and then we tested it with different numbers of clusters and topics in the leaf. And also we tested a more complex scenario where we mixed in um, search results for the term gardener. And the results you can see uh, in the picture um, and Facetex was able to divide those two different job offerings and provide or can generate more or less sinful uh, facets. So to conclude, uh, with facet, facet X, it is possible to create dynamic facets for the result of an initial search. Uh, we believe that more information without specific domain knowledge can be gained with it. Um, future work uh, would include the improvement of the facets generation with domain specific stop words so that uh, words like tablespoons or equally nonsense words do not show up in the facets. Um, the number of topics for extraction could also be made dynamically according to how many documents are in a cluster. And definitely there is uh, more research on the clustering part necessary. 
Okay, that brings us at the end of this uh, presentation. I hope you enjoyed the talk. And if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask us in the discussion. Thank you.